Hello there, I am John Cole with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on the fourth and final member of the Elite Four, Elite Four Karen, the, ma the master of, uh, dark type Pokemon. So yeah, she was pretty hard, actually. She actually just ended up, so, uh, fainting our Brosol here with her hound and music crunch and got a critical hit, but that's okay. I have Megan up front. Uh, I recommend you have either Rock or, um, Electric type Pokemon up front or Pokemon that knows a Rock or Electric type move. I have, I don't have any, both, any of those. Either of the two, I should say. And so I'm starting with Megan, because, uh, Raze Leaf is gonna be neutrally effective on, uh, Lance's Gyarados, who is, which is water and flying type, so. Yeah, and it'll resist the fire type moves, I guess. So that's cool. Let's go inside, and actually it'll walk behind you, and actually control over your character right here. But once you step, like, right on the staircase right here, like right here, on the pink staircase steps, it looks like pink steps, you'll be locked into battle with him. So yeah, Lance says, I've been waiting for you. Steven, I knew that you, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As, a mo as the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. I like this music a lot. Lance, Champion Lance, let's battle. This is some great music. So he has a Gyarados that's level 54 and ma a male. So it's six, making it 6 levels higher than it. Um, I'm gonna try to poison powder honestly because it could help, I guess. There we go, nice. Rain Dance, okay. Nice, it's gonna raise up his water type moves for his Gyarados, okay, whatever. Poison hurts. Okay, cool. Yeah, so of course the poison hurts. She is. Let's go for the raise leaf then. See how much it does. I wonder if oh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if I swim did more than raise leaf here, but whatever. Who raised leaf did over half? Oh, critical, of course. Heh. <laughs> Seeing as hyper beam. Interesting. So that means next turn it can't even move next turn. So that's awesome. Because uh, we can just try to faint it with another raise leaf. Although he's gonna try using a full story. No, nope, but of course he's not. That's good. That is good. That's a good start then. Yeah, there goes Gyarados. Nice. 2017 experience points. I'm recording this in 2018 though, geez. <laughs> okay, it's gonna send out Dragon Knight. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send out Brosil, because Brosil has Ice Punch. And Dragon Knight is, is flying and Dragon type, so that means it's four times weak to Ice type moves. Because Dragon is Dragon type Pokemon are weak to Ice type moves, and then, uh, um, also, flying type Pokemon are weak to ice type moves as well. They're super effective. And then you can also use a, just a regular dragon type attack. Like, I have dragon breath on my boys, but uh, I'm just gonna go for the ice punch. Thunder wave, okay. Dang it. So, this dragon hits level 47 in male. So, Broso is still through levels higher than this thing. Ice punch still hits awesome. And uh, he also has a dragon that's level, 50, that's level 50 in his highest level Pokemon, honestly. But the dragon that goes down one hit, awesome. Nice, I'll take it. And now he has, uh, he's gonna send out, an, oh, it's the other Dragonite, okay. Interesting. So this is the one that's level 50. And I think the, the one that's, okay, no, he has two Dragonites. Dang it, wow, he has a lot of Dragonites, apparently. He has two of them, apparently. I almost forgot. Thunder, oh no. This one has Thunder, jeez. Okay. Ice Punch still hits. Now, if this, if this one's also 47, it should go down with one Ice Punch, but you never know. It does go down with one Ice Punch. Nice. Cool. Drag oh, he's gonna send out all three of his Dragonites. Jeez. Uh, I'll oh, go back to back to back with his Dragonites being sent out. Aye, aye, aye. So this one's level 50. Okay, the rain stopped. Okay, uh, that's why Thunder was 100% accurate, apparently. Outrage. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Hopefully Brosol can take at least one of these things. Yeah, there we go, nice. Ice Punch hits again, awesome. This Dragon is level 50, so it's the same match, the same level as my Brosol here. So yeah, there we go, it takes it on one Ice Punch though, awesome. And now Brosol is level 51, awesome. Nice. Okay, there's a Charizard next, okay. Um, I'm gonna stay in. You need to surf on this thing. But first I'm gonna use a full restore. There we go, nice. I guess sent out a decoy Pokemon, but that's okay. Actually, that would have been the best choice, because like, I wouldn't waste a move to a turn then. But whatever. 
This charge is gonna use flamethrower on me, apparently. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, burned. No. Okay, fine. That's not the worst I could have done. Well, it's the worst I could have done without attack. So she's gonna use wing attack now, okay? Let's get surf on this thing then. This charge is level 46 to male, so Bruce is still 5 levels higher than this thing. But I don't know if one surf will be enough. All it is enough. Awesome. There we go. Awesome. A good thing, good thing surf is special, because I think burn cuts your physical attack in half. Like, this whole stat, like, if you have, like, 100 physical attack, if you're burned, it'll go down to 50, I think. That's how it goes. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. This last Pokemon is this Aerodactyl. Nice. It is level 46 in male, so we're still, still 5 levels higher than this uh, Aerodactyl. But then you use Rock Slide there, so that's gonna hurt. Jeez. Okay, it did less than I expected, actually. Surf still hits awesome. Although, Sobo is still burned, but that's okay. This is the last Pokemon. So that's not not really that, you know, worrisome right now. And there we go. The Aerodactyl goes down. Awesome. We've also got a lot of experience in this battle, honestly. <laughs> okay, his Champion Lance was defeated. Awesome. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm, I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Thank you, Lance. Expect 5,000 Poké Dollars. You could give me 10,000 Poké Dollars if I had all over in the battle. Jeez. Phew. You had become truly powerful, Steven. Thank you. Your Pokémon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. And as a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokémon. Thank you. The door is open. Awesome. Oh, Lance is all surprised and stuff. Mary says, oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Here's Professor Oak again, awesome. Ah, Steven, it's been a long time. It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they preserved. Congratulations, Steven. Awesome. Let's interview the brand new champion. Awesome. Uh, this is good. See, this is getting to be a, to be a bit too noisy. Stephen, could you come with me? Okay. Mary's all shocked. Oh wait, we haven't done the interview yet. Or we haven't done the interview. She's all running back and forth. Yeah, we're back in the, we're in the hall of fame room now. Sorry, no getting us now. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where the we honor the league champions for all eternity. The courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of our new league champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who has succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. Steven, allow me to register your, you and your Pokemon, you and your partners as champions. Awesome. Nice. Well, awesome. That's all my six Pokemon there. Save my record. Do not turn off power. So if I if I were to fail recording, that's gonna stink. Okay, so Megani, Megan, we've we we've been through a lot. You are my star Pokemon. You're awesome. Keep on doing what you're doing. Sanders, I didn't think I was gonna add you to my team, but it turns out I wanted you on my team after all. Awesome. Knocked out my first Pokemon that I caught in the wild. You're great. I love you. <laughs> Good flying type Pokemon. Bro, so I wanted to give a chance on you because you are so powerful. You, I liked your stats and everything about you. You're awesome. Okay, um, Arcanine Blaze. Um, you may have used, your, your friends may have used Roar Me, but you let me catch you in that time and I've loved you ever since. Espeon Mystic. Um, it took a long time for you to evolve into Espeon from an EV, but that's okay. I was patient enough and you were patient enough with me. Awesome. Steven, our ID number is 555635. Our playtime is 207 hours and 9 minutes. That's because I did a lot of grinding and stuff and for training and stuff. That's why the playtime is so high, I guess. 178 Pokemon seen, 21 Pokemon owned. Nice. Professor Oak's rating, you're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. Of course I do. I'm not going to catch them all, even though it's in the title of like the slogan for Pokemon is to catch them all. So yeah. Pokemon Crystal version staff. So, uh, this is not the end of the project, actually. We still have to do Kanto, actually. Which we'll get into very soon on how to get there. 
And uh, we finished the Johto story, but now I have to do the Kanto story, which is another HM leaders, HM badges. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got to go to Kanto, which is awesome, and have some fun. And our Pokemon are only going to get stronger from here. So I like the Pichus and the stuff. And now there's, then there's our Smoochums. Okay, cool. I think that's all. Uh, they show Pokemon at the top for every Pokemon you can get from the odd egg possibility, like Magby, Pichu, Little L Kid, Smoochum, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, I like this project so far. There's still more to come, of course, because again, we still have to do Kanto, which Kanto's gonna fly by, honestly, because you can get through it really fast. So that's gonna be fun. I'm still, I'm still gonna enjoy it though. Oh, here's Ditto. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, uh, yeah, we got Kanto to do, and this project's not over yet. But it's probably at its halfway point, I'd say. I'd say it's about halfway, because we still have to do Kanto. Kanto's gonna be fun, I'm gonna- I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Iglypuff, nice, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, let you guys enjoy the rest of the credits then. And with that, it's the end. And it boots up our game back up. Okay, cool. Let's uh, boot up the game, I guess. You can actually set it to the right time. Today is Wednesday, and it is uh, it's eight oh one currently. So let's just make it eight oh two. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So now it's night time, but uh, look, Professor Elm's gonna call us again, yay. Hello, Steven. Uh, I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, let's talk to Professor Oka then. Professor Vectoroff, of course. Steven, there you are. I call, I call because I have something for you. Uh, see, it's a ticket. It's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Steven received an SS ticket, which we can use for the Alvine Harbor. Or Alvine Dock, or whatever. Alvine City Park. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah. But there is already Steven. Okay, okay. Sorry, I missed. I already skipped through some of the dialogue. After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon. Give your email guides to Professor Oak in Kanto. Okay. So, actually, before we head off to Kanto, I'm gonna do that next part, but like, next time you'll see my Pokemon right here, they will all be level 60. Yeah, so Megan's gonna grow 10 levels, Sanders is gonna grow 10 levels, Oliver's gonna grow 10 levels, uh, Bristol's gonna, Bristol, Blaze, and Mystic is all gonna grow, um, 9 more levels, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing some off-screen training, and then next time you see them, they'll all be level 60. So yeah, so spin that my Pokemon Crystal Walk to get part, next part will take on, uh, Kanto, and you'll see all my Pokemon will be level 60 at the time. We're gonna fight, uh, we're gonna be in Alvine City when we start the part, actually, because that's where the, the boat is to take us to Kanto, so that's awesome. So yeah, this has been Jango again. I'd like to mention goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.